all welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm anaya today we're going to be doing a q a about virginia state university this video is mostly for freshmen coming in that kind of need their questions answered so i posted a poll on instagram and i got all the questions right here on my laptop and i'm gonna just go down the list okay the first question was how is the living environment i lived in quad one which is one Quad 1 and Quad 2 are the newest dorms. Quad 1, I liked it there. A lot of people had their complaints. The only problem about Quad 1 was I live on B-side. The elevator stayed breaking down every other day. And I lived on the fourth floor. So, that was my only issue as far as the living environment. And then they kept giving us community fines because people would leave their trash everywhere. But other than that, Quad one was a really nice dorm. I had a single, well, I had a suite. I shared a bathroom with somebody that has become my best friend. So I feel like the living environment is what you make it. The next question is, what was my favorite memory? My favorite memory was most definitely Spring Fling because that was basically my homecoming because I didn't get a homecoming last semester. It was activities every day. Everybody was outside. It was all positive and if you didn't see the video you can go see how it was the greatest memory for me if you and a friend from high school want to be roommates how do you apply okay so you have to go when you do your housing application it's going to ask you who's your requested roommate their first last name where they're from and stuff like that but you both have to apply and put each other's names they don't always do um give you who you want though so if they don't i would say stay on them about it until they change it if not who knows maybe you were meant to be with someone else just make sure y'all both have your housing applications done and paid for so y'all will be most likely to be first priority and be put together i saw a couple people ask this question how's the food <laughs> um next question it's like oh but the food it was like a hit or miss fried chicken wednesday was great they even gave us crab legs at the end of the semester which was like what the calf is either gonna be really good or it's gonna be bad no in between you just gotta they have their off days so just hope you go in on a good day are there things to do around campus or is it in the middle of nowhere first of all you should do your research before you go to school that was my mistake when i went to dc I had no idea what part of D.C. I was going to. Always do your research before you choose a school. Make sure you're going to be comfortable in that place. But honestly, we're not too far from too much stuff. There's like a little bowling alley not far. Then there's South Park Mall. There's a lot of restaurants. But it's not really activities until you go to Richmond, which is about 20 minutes away. But that's not too bad. It's not in the middle of nowhere, though. I wouldn't say that. What are some things to watch out for? I would say... Watch who you become friends with. I've seen a lot of instances of people thinking someone's their friend and then they turn around and do some very, you know, not friend-like things. I honestly felt safe on Virginia State campus. So I wouldn't say watch out for anything. Always watch your surroundings no matter where you are. But I, my whole thing is just be careful who you call a friend just make sure you trust those people very 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 well is it wise to get a job as a freshman i say no but everybody's different everybody can handle different things me personally i work when i go home for christmas break and i'm going back to work for summer break but working as a freshman i wouldn't suggest it because you know you're going to have a lot on your plate because college is a really, really big difference from high school. So I would suggest just take a break, go back for Christmas break, go back for summer break. But if you feel like you can handle your classes and a job, by all means, you do it. But honestly, my personal answer is no. What are the events where I really need to put outfits together? I wasn't here for homecoming, but obviously homecoming definitely spring fling and then there was the mr miss vsu pageant you had to dress up for that there's like the um or organization awards you had to dress up for that so i'll say make sure you get a little 
a few like you know business attire or dressy outfits but of course when you need to get dripped out homecoming spring clean so many people ask me this y'all worried about them rooms <laughs> are there room checks and how often do RAs check the dorms I had like the only strict RA so she was always in there and she was always picking little things she took my candle suggestion if you have a candle put it in the closet or just don't bring it because they're going to take it and you're not going to get it back until the semester's over until your parents come get it there are supposed to be room checks i know every wednesday for me sometimes we wouldn't get them it all depends are there communal bathrooms okay there are communal bathrooms in the dorms like the all girls dorm campbell and branch they have communal bathrooms the all-male dorm which is williams has communal bathrooms and i believe langston which is co-ed has communal bathrooms which is weird to me because it's co-ed but quad one and quad two you will have your own bathroom or you will have a suite if you get a single suite you will share the bathroom with your next door neighbor but no communal bathrooms can we have a microwave I had a microwave. You can have a microwave in quad one and quad two. The only place I heard you couldn't have a microwave is Branch Hall, which is, no, sorry, Campbell Hall, which is all girls dorms because the building is so old that they just have to share a microwave on each floor because they can't take the electricity or whatever. You can bring a microwave though, if you get in quad one. Would you consider VSU a party school? I ain't gonna lie, I don't like this question. Most HBCUs, they do consider them party schools, but any party school you go to, you got to determine if you're just going to go there to party or if you're going to go there and do your work. Because I learned how to balance work and school. I have either, they haven't finished putting my grades in, I'm going to either have a 3.8 or 4.0 GPA. Yet, I was partying almost every weekend and I was outside all the time. You can find a balance. It's all... It all depends on what you know you want out of the school. So if you're coming just to party, I would suggest don't waste your money and your time. Because you can just come, visit, party, go back home. You care about school and you like to party? VSU is the school for you. <laughs> what are the professors like? Okay. I had seven classes this semester. I got along with all my other teachers except for one. I'm not even going to say no names. She just gave us such a hard time. She just always got defensive when we told her we weren't learning correctly. So that was my only issue. But the other professors, they were amazing. You should get to know your professors because they, they will take you a long way. Just going to class, not saying anything is not really going to help you. Because one day, you're going to end up needing your professors. I've had an overall good experience with professors, except for one. I'm not going to let her ruin my experience for all of them. What is the president like? We got the coolest president ever. I don't care. All the HBCUs, bye. We got the best president. I still haven't gotten to meet him. And it's making me upset because every time I see him, he far away. But yeah, he's so cool. He always at every activity... He's, a, he's always participating. He's so fun. You, would, you wouldn't think he was a president. You would think he was like just a friend if you walked past him. 10 out of 10 would recommend. How do flex dollars work? Before I tell you how they work, make sure you stretch them flex dollars as far as you can in the semester because you're going to get hungry. You're not going to want what's in the calf and you're not going to want to pay for food out of your pocket because Foster, they be taxing in there. They are not... They are overpriced compared to the real restaurant. To use Flex, you go to Foster Hall and there's Subway and Chick-fil-A. You go up to the place, you order your food, you give them your card and they swipe it. That's it. And then when you get your receipt, it's going to show you a little balance. You can also use them at Etrick Deli, but I've never been there. So like I said, stretch them dollars because I was at the end of the semester, I was fighting for my life. What are the rules on opposite genders being in dorms? We have quad one and quad two. They're co-ed. Langston is co-ed. Branch and Campbell are all girls and Williams is all boys. I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. I mean, because we're co-ed, they can't really judge who belongs where. So, yeah. 
that's all I gotta say. What would you rate your experience out of 10? 11. I love Virginia State. It was like a breath of fresh air. I had so much fun this semester. Like, I'm ready to go back now. Like, I love it there. I have no complaints. It's such a good school. Even though I was close to home, it, I was having such a good time that I didn't even want to come home. It was great. 10? No. 11 out of 10. That was all the questions. Now, I have some advice. When you go to Foster Hall and you go through the front, do not step on the Trojan head. I cannot stress this enough. Don't step on the Trojan head because if you do, you will not graduate on time. And if you step on it, you have to go run through the fountain, which is at Hunter Mac. I'm going to include a picture of that too. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't step on the Trojan head. Don't step on the Trojan head. Don't step on the Trojan head. Okay. Use your resources. If you want to be a person that's in a lot of organizations, find people that are in organizations. Make connections with them. If you have teachers that you think can help you do things you want to do, make a connection with them. The first day of class, I email each of my teachers and I introduce myself. And I've been kept in contact with them throughout the semester because you need them to remember your name, remember your face, and know that you are here to do something special. Find a balance, like I said, with school and fun. Don't sit there and just work, work, work because you're going to get burnt out and it's not going to be pretty. But also, don't just party and party and then just say forget your work. If you do that and, you're, and you fail your classes, you're going to have to take those classes all over again. You're going to be behind the semester. You're either going to have to take summer classes or you're going to be a freshman again in the next fall. So please find a balance so you can have your fun and get that 4.0. iCalendar, the notes app, reminder, are going to be your best friend. It was a lot of times I would miss dates, but all, most teachers, they include their lesson plans on a calendar. Add it to your calendar. It's going to remind you of everything you need to do. Make sure you use those apps because they're not there for to look pretty. Laundry. Don't touch other people's stuff. Please. I've seen people almost get to fighting over touching people's stuff. Don't touch it. It's not yours. If everything is full, just go back to your room. Come back. Try again later. I did laundry on the weekends. Mostly like in the morning or the afternoon. Sunday was the best day because it would be empty. But I'm telling you now, get prepared to not get a washer and dryer. A lot of times I sent my laundry home and brought it back. My final piece of advice is make your experience what you want it to be. Greater happens here. Make your experience great. A lot of people go to school and, people, and they don't expect it. There is something that they don't expect it to be, but I feel like college is what you make it. So if you go in there thinking, oh, it's going to be horrible, it's going to be horrible. If you go in there thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be the best time of my life, like I did, you're going to have the time of your life. Virginia State is like, you know, amazing. I love it. I love it with my whole entire heart. And I hope all of you all that are coming soon have the same experience as I do. But like I said, it's college is what you make it. Have fun. Do your work. And just make greater happen. That is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions. And give you all a little, you know, encouragement on the new semester coming up. VSU 26. Can't wait to see y'all. I'm so I've been looking at y'all Instagram posts. I'm so excited. Like I feel like I'm a freshman all over again. I will talk to y'all in my next video.